Everybody, I'm here with uh, super student, first assistant at Sea Pines Country Club, Mark Teed. Mark, thanks for coming out. Uh, Mark's a Hilton Head match play champion, and we're gonna work on some putting to show you why, if you're le trail eye dominant, you have a tendency for your shoulders to get open in putting because the ball will start to creep forward. I wanted everyone to understand the reasoning. So Mark's gonna demonstrate for us today. So Mark is rear eye dominant, right eye dominant, right-handed. And go ahead and set up Mark. And, so what tends to happen is because your dominant eye has the desire to see the target, it tends to swivel open more. So you'll notice how Mark looks this way. His rear eye, or his trail eye, dominant eye wants to see the hole, so he'll have a tendency to swivel and or move the ball too far forward. Now what'll happen if he, if we can show him down the line, so Mark, if you turn around and go to this hole, I'm gonna show you. So as he starts to swivel, you'll see that his shoulders start to get open too much which means that his putter will have a tendency or his arms will have a tendency to travel on his shoulder path and go too far out to in. So let's face this way once more. If you're gonna set up, and we talked about this a lot in other putting videos we have, you'd like the ball position, even if you're rear eye dominant, to be somewhere under the left eye, or it can be from the back of the ball, from the middle of the stance, anywhere to three to four inches in front of that, which again, places it somewhere near the middle of the lead eye. So it does not matter if you're uh, rear eye dominant or lead eye dominant, the ball position will be relatively close to the same. What you don't want to do is, is start to get that head swivel too much so the dominant eye can see the target, shoulders open up, and your stroke suffers as a result. So thank you to Mark for coming out and being our model. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And don't forget to, to take a listen to our new podcast called Golf 360.